World of Final Fantasy. Prologue. Awake at last. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. Time to wake up. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. Then again, it's not like business has picked up any. The streets sure are quiet today. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. <sighs> Has nobody made the coffee yet? <sighs> Come on. Get it together, guys. 
I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <laughs> so, what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh, you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So, Lon, have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Oh! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah, uh, look! Come with me right now! Easy! So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world? It's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the got it! Huh? Uh, hey, uh, hey! You hey, can't just uh, leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm the here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? Huh. <sighs> Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused! 
Uh, hey, Lon, uh, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. But I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I. You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Mirage Keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh. So... We could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? points, also the known as AP. You automatically gain a little bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely. to the do it.
even knew that you had talent. All right! The figure it out yet? The two of you were unsurpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, the seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the mirages too? But... I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay... So like... You're saying... Whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess... It does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> 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 Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin So, this must be Grimoire. What? <laughs> what? You look like such a little dweeb. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I know, we look ridiculous. <laughs> huh? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure that's how every the body in this world must look. 
And a crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path? It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? I'm not- Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chick. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new of the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chick, then the use your prism. to the claim that mirage for your own. Go on, the select the imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box.
in prison! Hey then, look! You did it! Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! All right! Good job! Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strengthen the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even the decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. You two can the switch between giant size and lilikin size. Depending on your size,
be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the bee in lilican form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the bee a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. The Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. Huh? It f Yay! You the found it! Now, try examining the Gimme Golem one more at the time. Huh? It found something. Finished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros!
So, Tama, I noticed mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh, it's like right there on the tip of my tongue. What's this? This is the called a Merkrift. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say- Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them. But- Uh, this one's not very cute. Merkrifts, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. You die already? What? I died? But that's no way. Maybe it's true. That Mirage in the Murkrift did kinda. Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened right at the moment of your demise and made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right. I have the power to rewind time a little and then the whisk you to safety. Although, it costs me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, 
This girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams. She's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, the sir! Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> Hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real What's question you know? is how she got she here from the outside world, world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience way. crossing between Could planes. So, she's over at North Promenade. Oh, wow! She's so tiny! Is she, uh... What's the word again? Lilikin? Chocoboco-lina! Oh! <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Chocolatte! I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm! Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right! Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco Ching! Slow down! What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear! You're in luck! I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco Connection! So hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? such a selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, aka Seraphie. My hobbies, 
include gossip mongering and, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums. More than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacro made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh yeah, this prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Hey, if no one else here is up to the task of saving the world, I will. Yep. Manager Prismariums? Um, you seem to have something sitting on your head there. What's the deal with that? Huh? <laughs> How did that get there? You didn't even notice? <laughs> oh boy, what a doofus. Uh, have you checked your head? <laughs> How did that get there? Ha ha ha. Oh boy, what a doofus. Both of you are doofuses! Hey, the word is doofy! Here, I'm giving you this, so let's just move on. Uh, thank you. 
But what is this for? The truth is... <gasps> they haven't the foggiest. <laughs> I guess when I go out for a walk, stuff just finds its way onto my head. Well, from now on, whenever you see some thingamabob parked on my noodle, you just go ahead and help yourselves. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down <clears throat> tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphy guarantee. Huh? Sit down. But, she was but where are you going now? Me. Oh, well, somewhere uh, what else. What do you mean? Was. Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Uh, some... Look, we really need to well, ask you so some many things. things. No, no, huh? you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you've barely done anything. Oh, besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> bye, Hasta bye la vista. She's... gone. Dude. I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's an crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna crow is Anna crow, wouldn't you say? Pretty the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh, yeah, I want names.
We did it! Oh, yeah! I guess we're doing this. Come on, bring it! That was a good fight. Oh, yeah. Lon, don't touch it this time. I know, I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you've fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you the happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very 
good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lon. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy Hey sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. You think we're supposed to get on? Absolutely! All the aboard! Whoa, dude! <sighs> oh. oh, hey sis, let's park it here! Sure. Uh, hi. <laughs> so tired. 
tiny. <laughs> Whoa, pluck my needles. I don't know how long it's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? 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 Right, tickets, please. Talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage, but I'm also the train conductor, so tickets, please. The conductor? Well, all right. Well, if Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right the here. Right the how? Wow! Semi lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey! Where did those tickets come from? In a crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need! Yep, yep! Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass? And not a lifetime one? This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, why don't you hitch a ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Huh? <laughs> Mirage is from the Ocean Army! Bahamu? What's a Bahamu? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Ugh, line! All right, you Bahamoos! What's your beef, huh? You wanna make it sound like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon, don't you know what's at stake?
that all you got? You're mine! Whoa! What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? B.O.? They smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the Mirage already has another the Master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Fire whoever wrote that little hook in. Ron, Ixnay on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. The two of you, you've traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. Well, well, and don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm like, exuding all over. Mon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly... Stop by Castle Cornelia. So let's find this Casa Cornelius place. Doesn't Casa mean up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you've got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. That woman... That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. Nice armor. Leave them alone, please. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave, really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. 
Yeah, we're more the instanding types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that instanding isn't an actual the word. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like that Mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure Prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... wreak two futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What are you even talking about? There's nothing the wrong with the way you smell! You big the dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. So, the giants from the hills... As in, Ninewood Hills? I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things, but yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um, do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages and grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes Uh, dude. Whoa. King Brandalus's herald lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of Ages Past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me, right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you have done so, well, you will understand. All right then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time, we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Cause we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. 
If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice! Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have huh? been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. Th that's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry! Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? It looks like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems that way. What a funny way to build a town. Oh, it's not that this strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and to see what we can find out? Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, say, you wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills by any chance, would you? You see, there's a situation I'm dealing with where I could really use your assistance, since you must know Mirage so well. Could I trouble you to please bring me an earth hammer? If you could, I would be forever in your debt. What's this thing? Oh! I was hoping the path might link thee up here! Hey, Tama! W wait up! Huh? Hmm? We're back in Ninewood Hills? You see, the gate here doesn't connect to just one the area. Throughout Grimoire, you'll find places. Save the locations that lead back here. Open the way to come and to go as you please. And how exactly do we do that? You already the saw. Just walk up to the right place, and that's all it takes. But surely a means of transportation that handy must come with a catch? No, the catch! You can use the gate as the little or much as you like. What's more, time in here and time in Grimoire? They don't both flow at the same speed. So whatever crisis is going to down, you can put it on hold and kick back here till you're ready. Whoa, it's like magic. Yeah, really irresponsible magic. Just imagine revisiting any place we've been. We'll call it the Super Porta Party. Are you the kidding? That name definitely gets an F. He deserves an H. An H? But grades only go down to F! Extra, extra, read all about uh, it. What, what do you the one here, Seraphy? In case you're wondering, you can use the prism case anywhere you find one of these gates. Oh, I think I would get it now. Gates are the what you meant when you talked about a strong connection. Huh? Oh, right, right, that's the gist of it.
Okay, to the Nether Nebula. If you get poisoned in battle, the toxins will gradually drain your HP. Make sure you deal with poison early by using an antidote. Here, this one's for you. 